My name is Leanne Keough from the Health Workforce Technical Assistance Center. The objective of today's training video is to demonstrate how to create an address locator in ArcGIS that can be used to geocode addresses located in a particular state. In this video, we will explain what an address locator is, review the address locator's components, and create an address locator in ArcGIS. Address locators have an important role in the geocoding process, but before we discuss what an address locator is, let's first review the geocoding process itself. Geocoding is the process of converting an address or any descriptive information about a location to a specific place on the Earth's surface that can be displayed on a map. The geocoding tool in ArcGIS processes the address information and matches it to a list of known addresses with the reference data. The reference data includes geographic coordinates of the known addresses, which allows the locations to be displayed on a map. Each record receives a score based on the match. And the match with the highest score is then selected and displayed on the map. There are two basic components of an address locator, reference data and style. Let's first talk about an address locator style. The address locator style, or locator style, is defined when a user creates an address locator. The style refers to the format of the data that is being geocoded. Each style determines the level of geocoding that can be performed and the resulting output information. Geocoding can be done at different levels. You can geocode an address to the street level, to the county level, to the zip code level, etc. Each level determines the number of address elements. For example, street level geocoding should include house number, street, city, state, and zip code, while zip code level geocoding should only include the zip code. There are a number of styles available in ArcGIS. One style, called U.S. Address Dual Ranges, is commonly used for geocoding addresses that contain an apartment or house number, street name, city, state, and zip code. We will expand upon this style later in the video. As mentioned earlier, the reference data is a database that contains known addresses and geographic coordinates. The geographic coordinates in the reference data allow an address to be displayed on a map. Each style has specific requirements for the reference data, and the user must select reference data that is appropriate for the style, including the type of geometry used to represent a location on a map. For example, the reference data for the dual ranges style is usually a line geometry data set. Line geometry datasets usually contain street segments. Each street segment, in turn, is comprised of a number of address elements, such as house number, street name, city, state, and zip code. The dual ranges style allows the geocoding tool to identify a specific house number from a range of house numbers along the street line. This style also identifies the side of the street the house is located on. Other styles require different types of geometry in the reference data. For example, the single house geocoding style uses points and the city, state, country style uses polygons to display the locations on a map. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create an address locator for the state of Delaware using the dual ranges style, which requires that the reference data contain streets which are represented on a map as lines. For our purposes, we will use reference data that was downloaded from the ESRI website, which is a detailed streets data set for North America. Before we create an address locator, let's first review the reference data that we are using. For our reference data, we imported a feature class of Delaware streets into the table of contents. Here, we can see that each row represents a segment of a street, and each street has several address elements. 
The full name of the street appears under the full name field, which is broken into different address elements such as prefix direction, prefix type, street name, and street type. Each of these elements will be compared and matched to the address elements that are being geocoded. In addition, each street segment has a low to high range of numbers, indicating the house number next to the street. And finally, the city, state, and zip code are also associated with each street segment. Now, let's create an address locator. Open Arc Toolbox, select Geocoding Tools, and choose Create Address Locator. You can also simply right-click on the folder or the File Geodatabase in the Catalog window. Click New, and then Address Locator. In the first field, we will select the style U.S. Address Dual Ranges. In the Reference Data field, we will select the Street Feature Class. In the Field Map section, all the fields containing address elements from the reference data will be selected for a specific role. For example, the field name, indicating the name of the street, will be included in the output as a street name. All the selected fields will be included in the geocoding output. By default, all the fields were selected and aligned with the fields specified by the address locator. However, if you would like to include more fields in the geocoding output, simply select the fields using the drop-down menu. The required fields have an asterisk next to them. If no fields are selected, be sure to select one and make sure all the selected fields have the appropriate role. As we mentioned earlier, the dual range style is designed to identify a single house or apartment from a range of house or apartment numbers on each side of the street. Therefore, the four fields that contain from address and to address information must have an alias. Once all the fields are selected, make sure to name the address locator, and then click OK. Now, you can use that address locator to geocode addresses in Delaware, which we have demonstrated in the video, How to Geocode Provider Addresses Using ArcGIS. This video can be found on the HWTAC website. To recap, First, make sure that you have the appropriate type of reference data for the address locator style. Second, create an address locator and select a style and reference data set. And finally, make sure that all the selected fields have the appropriate roles in the geocoding process. If you have any questions regarding the content of this video or need further assistance, please contact Nafeen Haroon at nharoon at albany.edu. This video is part of a series on using GIS for health workforce research. This series was developed by the Health Workforce Technical Assistance Center, which is part of the Center for Health Workforce Studies at the University at Albany. Mm -hmm.